Hey dear sis, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. And I'm in Kakariko Village. Uh, it was quite a journey to get here. Um, the tower, I unlocked the map for this area. The tower is here. This tower was stupid, okay? The dude is like, oh, I can't open it. It's, it's locked or something. But sure, I'm hungry. There were mushrooms in these caves. And I went around those caves, and I found no mushrooms. And I'm like, I have every kind of mushroom in my inventory. What does this boy want? And I'm going around. And not going to lie, I kind of gave up. And so I Googled it. How do I get to the tower? And it was something I even tried. I just wasn't in the right spot. And it was you had to ascend in the cave, which I did. And I did not get anywhere near the tower. So I'm very bitter about this. Also, I saw a Karok uh, by the water. And he needed to get to his friend. And there was a rocket. And I'm like, well, I'm going to try. Um, I put him on a raft. And I accidentally uh, put the rocket on and attacked the rocket when I wasn't ready. And he went zoom. He went flying. It's very funny. It's like a chess piece here. I did also find, hold on, hold on. It should be in my album. I don't think I took a picture of it. I didn't. I took a normal picture of it, not a not a not a game picture of it. Um but apparently uh, there are ruins nearby. Zonai ruins. There's a whole bunch here, apparently. Um but one in particular that talked about the sages and that you became a sage if you had a special stone. So me thinking that there are sages, I'm actually not far off. I'm assuming that that's going to be an integral part of the story here. Woohoo! Southern Ring Ruin Research, Cory. Like the other ring ruins, that those that fell to the plateau south of the village also held a stone slab with Zonai inscriptions. Curiously, we also discovered a flower growing in the ruin, the likes of which we had never seen. Oh, the Sundelion. A plant long thought extinct. Barring a local plum orchid for our cultivation efforts and hoping our studies prove fruitful. Round device filled with strange objects has meanwhile come to a standstill. Oh, you mean the orbs? You mean the orbs. All right. Okay, I see how this is useful now. Um, also, another thing I had found while I was... I'm less likely to want to give these away. Can I... Do five? What happens if I get five? I found, um, kind of like a gravestone, like a slab, and a silent princess on it. Oh, it just gives me five. I don't know what I, oh, it gave me these things. Balloons. Yay. The balancer. Okay, I've worked with the balancer. I've done a few shrines. Um, so yeah. She, there was a silent princess on it, and it was something that Zelda had made, and it was to honor all of the victims of the calamity. And I'm like, this is just in the middle of the road, uh, like in the middle of nowhere, just a little thing. And it wasn't anything grand or spectacular, which is totally fine. Like, I think they may have preferred it. Oh, hey, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? What's next? Oh, it's Cory, the one who wrote the note. I need to wrap up my report on the strange artifacts filled with capsules. No time for idle chatter. When ruins fell from the sky, upheaval, these fell too. We only discovered three so far. Aside from this one, we've also confirmed the presence in Terrytown and at Dig Dog Bridge. Akala, we don't see a connection. I don't even know what they were used for. More for going on. Oh, okay, well, bye. Okay. Okay, not there. But I am learning to ascend more. Ascend like a god. Because I'm not ascending nearly as much or using this as much as I should. Okay, well, strange. Okay, well, I wanted Kakariko because it seemed like Kakariko had stuff going on. And they were hinting at Kakariko for a little bit. And there's... Oh, God. Okay, hi, people. We're hands-on with the ring ruins at last. I can't believe it. Um, Letty, this chunk is just a small piece of one of the ring ruins. Nothing much, really. I mean, compare it to the main sites like that ring ruin over there. It's broken in two, but you can still see the full ring. 
Well, we can't visit that one by order of Princess Zelda herself. No one's allowed to go anywhere near it. Order of Princess Zelda? So isn't getting close up to this chunk here something at least? We can sweep up some of the fragments and sneak them away. We gotta study these ruins somehow. Huh? Oh, it's you two! I remember you. You used to be near Hateno. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just uh, definitely leaving everything just as I found it. Wait, you're not with the survey team, are you? Phew, I thought we were going to get yelled at again. We really want to become members of the Zonai survey team, so we came here to study the ruins. Did you know that the ring ruins have been found only in Kakariko Village and nowhere else? That's why the Zonai survey team sent its specialists to examine it. We figured this was a great opportunity to learn all sorts of things. But Letty has been running all over the place to look at this and that, so we've gotten nowhere fast. Come on, I'm sorry already. But after we're done here, I want to see the stone slab found in each of the ring ruins. Huge discoveries, they say. That was that was where I found the um the sage comment about the seven sages and stones. Again, I think it's I I should Google it. I have not Googled it. The Tomo Tomogamas, the the yin yang symbol. Basically. But I know these two girls. I remember them. It's very windy right now. Oh my god. Okay, well, I am here to investigate and to look what's in this house. Let me in. Okay, well, there's nothing here. Uh, that's a pot. It's a place to... Hold on, can I... I can mark it on my map, right? Yeah. There we go. I remember this place. Oh. Lastly, what to do at this rate? Grandmother's health isn't going to. Ugh. And Clarice's so busy running the clothing shop. I'll just do it myself. I'll find a cure for my grandmother. Are you a traveler? I guess it doesn't really matter who you are, so long as you're willing to listen. You see, it's my grandmother. She got too close to that nasty gloom stuff, and now she's sick and bedridden. Porridge is about the only thing she can keep down right now, too. I've been trying to mix in ingredients that could help with gloom sickness, but none of them have had any effect. I need to cook a porridge that will make my grandmother better, and I need to do it soon. Uh, okay, I'm gonna take a picture of that. Rice, milk, greens. I might not normally think those mix, but surprisingly good. Travel the road to the west. I'm not hunting for those, but I still haven't found that ingredient. East Hill, she knows the chasm. Gloom, she got exposed. A porridge that gloomborn illness. That sucks. Her name sounds really familiar, and I'm gonna hate myself if I. Nana, I don't know who you are, but I'm sorry you have to see me like this. I'm dealing with an illness. I don't have the strength to get up. Illness? I got too close to the chasm. That's when I accidentally touched that gloom. It seems to have taken quite a toll on me at my age. I'm alright for now. My granddaughter, Laz Lasley, just outside. Mm. These names sound so familiar, but I don't remember. They're not the little girls, right? They are not the little girls. Uh, no, we're not ascending on the carrots. You might be reprimanded if you take it. <laughs> uh, hold on. I have pictures! Oh my god. Cuckoo. Oh, well? I can take a picture of a well? Okay. Why? Why am I taking a picture of a well? Oh. It takes me down. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm going to come back to this. Let me finish up with Kakariko. Um, can I put it at my feet? Okay, I'm going to put that there. That's to come back to. Um, did not anticipate a well to be a cave. Uh, frogs, a bed, a desk. No, open and... Who closed the door on me? Okay. Um, um. Yeah, I remember the inn. Oh, come on. 
Welcome, friend. Those eyelids feeling heavy? Then you're come to the right place. Pick any bed in this inn and it's yours for a paltry 10,000 rupees. <laughs> Thank you, Link. Ooh, yeah, I don't even work here. I stopped by hoping to catch some Z's when the owner up and asked me to keep an eye on the place. He said he had to go make up some beds in the survey team tents and that he'd be right back, but, uh, I don't think he's coming back. I want to look for him, but there are only four tent camps in this village and only one for me. Could you maybe patch on the owner and tell him to come back already? A sleepy looking guy spacing out, you found your man. Ah, okay, there's no one else here. Coco, there's no one up there. Yeah, this is for vegetables. Oh, you only have an egg. Hello. Hi. Oh, I love the little sun. I love the little flower ring you got on your head. The old fellows who stock this place are busy driving off monsters. They've gone off to the rain ruin that's among the hills that lead west of the village. We are almost run out of goods. Those two, they just don't get along. That's going to stand in the way of them taking care of that problem up there. Okay, so basically, this is me taking people, nope, uh, people arguing. Why do these doors shut so fast? I don't need to look at you, your elixirs or arrows, yeah. Yeah, you also have them. Rola, I think I remember. With everyone making such a fuss about those ring ruins, I'm glad to see a young lad like you visit my humble arrow shop. You must be a fine archer. If Lurin Lin and more archers Oh, okay. Reminds me of my husband. There was a time he was a regular master archer. I wonder where he is now. Oh, they sell the monster parts too. Arrow and arrow. So instead of selling like the fire and all those ones, I gotta do it myself. Hmm, okay. Maybe it's not the same person. Bring garlands for sale. Yes! No, 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 no. I remember Coco. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I remember Coco. Okay, I had, I was Googling it, and I Googled this before, and I knew it was maybe like a year or two. Um, but kind of per what I'm seeing online, just general, and I brought up what she looked like in Breath of the Wild. She was a baby baby, and now she's kind of like a preteen almost. So I want to say it was probably more, this looks more like three years to me minimum minimum and that would make sense because of all the development and everything would take years and building a company and a construction for like hudson for example also would take a few years so i want to say this is probably three to four years honestly oh my god you've grown look at you you're like oh my god she's almost my height freaks me out how about a ring garland they're made with lots of love I, what's a ring garland? They're decorations I made using flowers and plants and things. Oh. Oh, after the ring ruins fell from the sky, Kakariko Village got much busier. It's like we're more part of everyone's lives now, and they're more a part of our village. So I started making garlands that look like the ring ruins, hoping they'd bring people together even more. I want them to make lots of people happy, so I'm only charging a little bit. <laughs> Coco. I'll take one. It's my first thing I'm spending money on. I'll add in an extra little bit of love. Just for you. Mwah! Oh my god! She kisses it. Here you go. Hold on. Hold on. Do I get to wear it? Where's my ring? Where's my flower ring? It's not an... Oh, please don't tell me it's an item. No. Where's my... Where's my thing? It's not here. Oh my god! Oh, it's the whole thing! That's it for today! Oh my god. Um. Hello? Hello? Yes, yes, I know, but this is a huge ring! I. Girl! What am I supposed to- I'm gonna give it to Impa. You stay here. Oh, Dorian! It's Lady Paya's duty to take care of the village. But whenever I take my eyes off her, she's elbow deep in some new trivial problem. 
Hmm? Who is that really you? L Link? Why, it's been some time. You gave me quite a shock. I didn't expect to see you appear in our village. And right now, too, while I chief is the chief, I suppose you haven't heard. The former chief, Lady Impa, retired. Now Lady Paya is the chief of Kakariko Village. I've been working as her assistant, but Lady Paya is ignoring her responsibilities. She won't listen to anything I say. All these ring ruins have her full attention. Even now, she's under one of the survey... Uh, oh, Maybe seeing you reminder by responsibilities of chief. Would you mind doing me a favor and stop by to see Lady Paya? Oh, I just... I don't... What do I do with this? Ring! We're gonna... Okay, yeah. Paya! 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, it's the, it's the translator guy! The ring ruins are the most interesting ruins I have researched. Especially this one, the way part of it floats up there. I don't know why I'm giving him a strong voice. You had the foresight to focus on all of these special ruins and invite the survey team to take a look right away. I'm impressed, Chief Paya. Oh, no, I'm... I'm no chief. I just couldn't refuse my predecessor when she decided to pass the title to me rather suddenly. I'm really a chief in name only, since I still have a great deal to... Hmm? Ah! Uh, oh, is that you? Master Link? Oh my god. Oh my god! I'm so happy that I get to see you again. I had to, I had to stop to like, my friends and I have been like posting little spoilers and I'm, I just wanted to make sure I'm screaming about Paya because Paya is so cute. I'm overjoyed that both you and Princess Zelda are safe, Master Link. This is what happened. Princess Zelda is still missing? That's just confuses the matter more. You see, I actually met with the princess not too long ago. It was immediately after the upheaval. Princess Zelda came here to Kakariko Village. She ordered us all to stay far away from the ring ruin that floats above us, no matter what. I saw her myself, the princess, right before my eyes. She left as soon as she arrived. I wasn't able to ask her anything more about those unusual instructions. We thought it was to protect the villagers from harm. This ruin does look like it could crash down at any moment. That's what Paya and I suspect, at least. But still, I know you would not misspeak, Master Link, especially on a matter of such importance. How confusing. <gasps> oh, my apologies, Master Link. I was so pleased to see you, I completely forgot common courtesy. Please allow me to introduce Mr. Tauro, an esteemed member of the Zonai survey team. I invited him here to investigate the ring ruins that fell on our village. He has incredibly deep knowledge of the Zonai civilization. He's even familiar with Zonai script. He is truly an incredible, talented individual. Oh, God. It's Chad. Oh. It's clear that the floating ring ruin that we were forbidden to explore is a unique and incredible, valuable find. Whatever, I can't speak anything. There's so many more ring ruins. Most have broken apart in some way. What's fascinating is that a stone slab with writing was found at each site. Deciphering the text showed... Yep. Okay. There's still so much we don't understand. Yep. I think that perhaps the ruin floating in the air also has a slab that makes mention of the sages. I can't investigate as that would go against Princess Zelda's direct orders. If only I could meet with her again, I'm sure I could persuade her to change her mind. In any case, I'm having trouble squaring your story about Princess Zelda with the Princess Zelda we met. If everything is alright, why won't she just show herself? She must have some reason. Until we find out Princess Zelda's true intentions, we have no choice but to trust her and leave that ruin alone. Oh my god, Paya. So who's this dude? Wow, you look grumpy. What are you doing? Under Princess Zelda's order, it's everyone is strictly forbidden from getting close to that ring. If that applies to an archaeologist like me, it certainly applies to an amateur like you. Princess Zelda visit the, visited Kakariko, blah, 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 blah. It's off limits. She left before giving reasons why. Okay. 
Well, that didn't work. Sorry, buddy. Your princess is in another castle and he's gone. Okay, well, I want to go up. Is Impa in here then? Left it out again. Oh. It's a stone slab with a bunch of notes. Okay, well, I guess Taro's been here. I'm not gonna... Well, can I talk to him? Still so young, so I understand her enthusiasm. But, and this is just between us, I wonder if it's more of an obsession. Uh, well, you know, just let her do the thing. Um, I already read all of those before. Okay. Okay. Can I read her diary still? Is that still a thing? Um, the tapestry is still here from, that's from Breath of the Wild. Okay. <laughs> yes. One day, grandmother said to me, you've grown up, Paya. It took me by surprise, so I simply nodded. She nodded back and said, it's settled. As of today, you are the chief. And so it was. Suddenly, I was the chief. But what can I hope to achieve? Just like grandmother, I do have Dorian as my side, as my aid, for which I'm grateful. Yet for some reason, he seems troubled. Grandmother has become obsessed with old books. I'm hesitant to reach out to her with my concerns. I fear this chief's hat that grandmother has given me is too heavy for me to bear. Literally, it rather hurts my head. It happened suddenly, without warning. I was so frightened by the impact, it was as though someone had taken hold of this world and given it a violent shake. The air grew stagnant, weapons decayed, and ruins fell from a somber sky shrouded in dark clouds. How fortunate that none of the villagers were injured. As for the village itself, it has been utterly transformed. Five large ring-shaped ruins fell down upon the village, and a large opening in the ground has been spotted at East Hill. Even with everything that is happening, Grandmother said that she was going to set out on a journey with Kado. I tried to stop her from going at a time like this, but she insisted that such times are precisely why she must go. Okay, so Impa is off doing something. I had no choice but to bid her farewell. Her eyes seemed to wordlessly say that she was shouldering some great mission. Zelda probably asked her to do something. There were 11 peculiar, peculiar, whatever. I told Pura of Lookout Landing about our village's situation. She said ring-shaped ruins are incredibly unusual. Realizing this could be a good opportunity to help the village, I made arrangements with the Zonai survey team at once. I returned home to greet them, and that's when Princess Zelda arrived at the village. She seemed almost like a doll of herself. The same outside, but no spirit within. I could not hide my uncertainty. She forbade anyone from entering the broken and partially floating ruin, and then she just left. Okay. She did not mention the village's awful condition or had any words of kindness for our villagers. Hmm. Again, suspicious. Uh, Zone I team arrived. Their leader is truly incredible. Has already found a clue. Tentatively named the ruins that fell upon our village the Ring Ruins. It seemed the obvious choice. The villagers have treated me with much such warmth. They even embraced my decision for us to coexist with the Ring Ruins. Of their own volition, some of our villagers volunteered to aid research and others for patrol duty. It is humbling to behold. Dorian's sweet little daughter, Coco, even crafted souvenir items called ring garlands. Before I knew it, our days of never having visitors have passed. Our quiet village seems to have regained its vigor. Before all else, we must learn more about the ring ruins. It's my responsibility as chief to see that it is done. Oh, I intend to fulfill my duties. Slightly different from my grandmother. Yeah, you have to you have to do things differently than how your predecessor did it because you're not your predecessor. Gone is the chief who sits in her hall with quiet wisdom. That is what the village needed of her then, but no longer. I must keep moving forward so that when she returns, I can greet my dear grandmother with a triumphant smile. There's another one. There's another book. Yeah! <laughs> For us! Yay! More diaries! It's a side effect of returning to my previous form from 100. I had a dream about that time. Back then, Robbie and I did whatever we pleased at the Royal Ancient Lab. Age reversal experimentation explosions. Warp failure 
explosions. Explosion prevention device explosions. I recall us trying things that likely would have gotten us tossed out if Impa and Princess Zelda hadn't covered for us. Impa scolded me often, but never too harshly. Those were fun times. I haven't decided where to hide three of my four diary journal volumes yet. Hmm. Seems like a good idea to hide one of them away in my own room. I've been at Lookout Landing a lot lately. Maybe I should go back to the lab in Hateno Village to place the diary. Oh, okay. She used to have it here. But no longer, I guess. Okay. Time to go back. Rain ruins. So much. Okay, okay. They're locked inside? Locked inside? Hmm. God, there's so many things to look at. Green thing. This kind of reminds me of Splatoon a bit. Not yet. What's in the house? Oh. Well, clothes! Yes, clothes, clothes, clothes. <sighs> oh, let grandmother be okay. Huh? Oh, well, welcome. Sorry. I must have drifted off. I'm just so tired lately. Look, I know it won't help to talk about it, but I'm going to do it anyway. My grandmother's really sick. I'm running the shop while my little sister, Lazuli, is looking after her. We're sort of getting by, but we're both so exhausted. I'm sorry about this, but we really need money for grandmother's treatment. I've had to hike up the prices on everything we have in stock. It's just for now, though. As soon as grandmother is healthy again, I can set our prices back to normal. I shouldn't bring my home situation. Shouldn't have dumped all that on a customer. Oh. Salvage my professionalism. Huh? Enchanted! And it's a CC brand fashion unless you go to Southeast to Hateno Village. But why go there when you can meet all your fashion needs here? CC brand? Oh. Fashion phenomenon. Such a hot brand came out of Hateno Village. My sister can go to her today fashion, but with our situation at home. Oh, sorry about that. Don't mind me. Okay. What are the prices? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Well, nope. I forgot I need to pray to the goddess for some health. She looks exactly the same. Ah, uh, please, I need health. I, I'm sucking with these enemies. Link's so happy. Poo! There we go. Yay! Yes. Gracias. Go and bring peace. All right. Oh, who are you? They're just all so high up. Um, oh! When you're running around the village seeing the sights, if you want to learn about the ring ruins, ring ruins. So of all the ruins, so these are five of them. Stone slab and four of them. Extreme fear of heights. Fine. What's on the stone slab? Well, I know one. You know what's written on the stone slabs? Oh. What did it say? Well, uh, seven sages. You need a secret stone to be a sage, or so it seems. But what is a secret stone? Surely its beauty would put a diamond to shame. No. Truly fascinating, except just three left. Oh, a trip through history. Ah, oh, man. Okay. Oh. Oh, never mind. Come here. No! I got in trouble. Okay. Dr. Kalip? I can't even get under to... Hmm. Oh, another slab. Okay. Yeah, this is like the, what the first one looked like. Um, Eastern ring. Wind, flame, water, lightning, and time. Light, who holds the power, secret stone, and that person dwell within power amplify, great might display. The thrust of the message on this slab is something about 
is about something called secret stones. Those who held power such as wind, flame, water, lightning, and light and time, the six, amplified them with secret stones. They used the stones to attain great might to accomplish their goals. It's guessing if we could read the whole thing. So again, Zelda's probably the light because that's what she was as a normal sage back in Ocarina. Okay, and then there's a giant hole there. Hold on, I'm gonna just make a note. That is a thing. And there's a camp. And I don't want to deal with that. Oh, there's Zora's domain over there. Um, well, so apparently Zelda appeared here too. Uh, hi. Zalis, evening. You came on the way out here to the Ring Ruins? I'll be. Watch your steps so you don't fall into that chasm or get personal to any gloom. If you just can't help yourself gloom-wise, look for our resident gloom specialist, Eba, by the tents. Uh, ruins open. Just to clear the stone slabs. Five ruins, yeah. Ruins, light, yeah, great deeds. Uh, okay. Okay, well. Eba. Given its location near the edge of the chasm, researching these ru this ruin involves some level of inherent danger. So as our resident gloom expert volunteered to head up this operation, as with the other ring ruins, our investigation turned up a stone slab etched with Zonai writing. Some of the villagers who came to help clear the rubble came into contact with the gloom. One still hasn't recovered. All of the herbs effective against gloom have been wound up used tending to the wounded of looking lookout landing. The herb in question was a yellow plant I'd stumble upon in my previous research. Oh, the sun the lion. Okay. So that's gloom contained. Question mark? Okay. Another map. Oh, hey. Oh my god, are we going to push you down? A chasm would open so close to the village as warrants constant observation. Jalis is leading the Ring Ruins investigation, so it leaves me free to focus on gloom. Watch it! Every what is Link? Stop scaring people. A few that was close, I could have fallen. I'm a specialist in gloom, not defying gravity. One false step, and that's the end of my research. Now, what brings you here? Have you come? Sorry, I hear my cat. For a professional con consultation on gloom. Honest, oh, doesn't know exactly what gloom is. The depths, you know, the depths don't you? The vast, dark expanse these chasms lead to. Gloom all over the depths. Yep, just touching it will steal your vitality, so watch out. Dreadful stuff. As far as, what if you get sick? Because you're planning a trip down? What bravery! If you touch gloom and become unwell, come to the surface right away. That's the most important thing. Certain foods may help. I tried researching the plant to confirm my results, but I can't find any record of it. Where's the inn owner? The spacey looking fellow. He made the beds recently, but I haven't seen him since. Perhaps he went to that tent over there? He said he'd have an easy time finding it because of the bizarre ruins on the spot. I wonder if he made it. Looked like he was about to fall asleep. Okay. Let's do that before I do the... 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 chasm. This is where the Great Fairy used to be. Yeah, this is where the Great Fairy used to be kind of remember this path okay well i think the videos should be long enough or hopefully is long enough um i'm gonna probably explore this on my own if anything important happens i'll try to run back and record or i will just notify you what happens okay sis uh i'll talk to you later bye love you